different country. All right, what do you say we now move on to the Diamond at the Vet in Philly tonight, where the Mets were looking to regroup from last night's 64 thumping. And speaking about thumping, get a load of that. A good chilling fastball right into the head of a good Alfonso. Fortunately, no damage. Fonzie bounced up, stayed in the game, had a couple of hits, and following one in the fourth, John Oval rifles a shot that goes through the gap in right center all the way to the wall. Fonzie scoring all the way from first to make it three nothing next. They go on to win it six two. Armando Reynoso going eight strong innings to improve his record to seven and one. Well, it was back to work for Sammy Sosa and the Cubs, who were in St. Louis last night. Sosa, who's been stuck on 58 homers for four straight days, went 0 for 3 with a walk. Teammate Mark Grace provided the power today in the first. He takes Jason Smith deep with a three-run shot. The Cubs win this one 4-2, which means the Cubs and Nets remain tied for the wild card in the National League. The Giants one game behind. All right, let's now move on to the Diamond Fenway Park in Boston tonight, where win number 102 for the Yanks would clinch the American League East title. Bottom four Yanks on their way, leading 5-0 when Scott Hatterberg unloads on El Duque. Bye-bye, so long, farewell. Grand Slam, Aru. Pulls the starts within one of five four. However, top five we go. Paul O'Neill facing John Watson. He says bye bye so long for all. Number twenty makes it six four Yanks. Then here in the eighth, score six five. It's Paul again saying Monica. Forget about it. You got it. Number twenty one for O'Neill making it seven five Yanks. Gita would also bang out two solo shots. Seven five the final as the Yanks do indeed win the American League East for nineteen ninety eight. Joe looked a little concerned, though, when El Duque gave up that grand slam, and they won it, but there's some concerns there. Well, the pitching's got to... If they have any bumps in the road, let it come now before the postseason. Absolutely. Well, it was windy, chilly, and some spotty stuff.